Okay, we are looking at game five of the 2007 Myth World Cup Finals. Uh, we have in Peacocks versus uh, Name Changers, uh, two games to two. Uh, score is 20 points for Name Changers, 18 points uh, for in Peacocks based off of uh, the old scoring system. Uh, we've got... Uh, I'm going to guess Rhaegar is, is nine ball. I, I still haven't confirmed that from somebody on the name changers. Uh, Fire, Shyster, Donsky, Jushius, uh, and Adrenaline, uh, who is Neiman Lion, versus Storm, Paris, uh, CW, Thierry, Graham, Ravikin, uh, and Ars. Looks like Toxin uh, is observing. Uh, he's probably the host. Toxin had a, a great host, was also uh, helping, I think, with the tournament website uh, back in 2007. Looking at the trades, uh, we've got 17 archers. Uh, we've got four, six, eight, ten, 12 pus, uh, which is probably max pus on this. Uh, warriors uh, and the remainder thrall uh, on the side of name changers on the side of Teacox. Uh, looks to be a similar trade. Uh, maybe a couple more archers. Uh, we've got two dwarfs uh, and a couple thrall as well. Uh, this is Capture the Flag, uh, which typically plays out similar to Territories, uh, you know, in that you've got to have at least scouts on all three flanks. Uh, you do have a little bit of difference where, you know, you need to leave some flag defense, and there are some creative strats, uh, like using the Far North Passage to, to try to sneak a flank around and steal a flag. Uh, but usually I, I, I don't see that happening often in high-level play. Um, so my best guess is this is a BC Fest uh we will see uh, if I'm right. So, you know, very similar to the story of the first, uh, you know, four of the first, three of the four, I should say, uh, first four games, uh, MP Cox spreads out, sends folks to all three flanks, uh, whereas Name Changers clearly uh, is looking to do uh, more of a push south and mid. Uh, they've got basically nothing but a goal. Uh, looks like they're going to run a goal pack uh, up north. They're not really punished for this, uh, just because you know the more reactive strat here from uh, MP Cox is to shift some warriors to meet the rush. Uh, so there's nothing that's going north that's forcing name changers to react. So they've shifted their mid south. Uh, so Chicken Wire uh, and Teary both go south at first. Uh, now Teary is realizing that mid could potentially get overrun. Um, you've got Fire and Donsky uh, once again here on the Archers. Uh, we've seen both of these players play quite well. Uh, right now they're facing only Rabican, uh, but now Tiri's joined up. I would say that in a drawn-out fight, uh, Donsky and Fire probably have the advantage here. Uh, Rabican and Tiri are quite good, uh, but uh, at this point uh, from 2007, uh, I would say that Donsky was, was one of the better Archers in the game. Uh, fast forward in a bit. You do see Shyster uh, and Adrenaline pressuring here along the side. Uh, one thing to note, they don't have to engage this. Again, CTF being something unique, you see Shyster. Shyster could just choose to run towards the flag and force everything to collapse back on him. Uh, that also allows him to, to basically begin surrounding their flank. We go back to mid. Uh, it does look like uh, Dante is running in a pus. Uh, very good pass. Uh, he kills two archers, uh, freezes two more. Uh, another archer drops here for Tiri. Uh, so all of a the sudden, there's a 10% uh, lead over on the MP Cox side. Uh, looks like a pass here from fire does miss, uh, but another Ravikin's archers die. Uh, so at this point, that advantage mid, uh, you know, it was already an advantage just because they had a bunch more archers. Um, but with that, you know, very good pus uh, and a couple unfortunate losses. Uh, you know, mid is now basically completely collapsing on the side of uh, MP Cox. That really relieves all the pressure from uh, Josh and Adren. All they need to do is annoy these archers uh, and keep pressure. Uh, Shyster could at some point choose to come and collapse, but there's no need uh, because at some point all of this force from MP Cox is going to have to get back to the flag. Uh, the lead here is now 11%, uh, but, you know, in-game, I can only imagine it feels like a more significant lead uh, because at this point, you know, you're you're basically completely surrounded. Uh, it feels like the enemy's got, you know, really more units uh, all the way around. 
More pus coming in. Uh, again, very good pus here uh, from Andren. Gets three archers. Uh, Shyster comes in with a couple pus. Gets one archer and takes out the dwarf. At this point, lead is up to 14%. Uh, but, you know, it's it's hard to see any way, you know, and peacocks can turn this around. You know, maybe if these dwarfs were able to come in and, and make some incredible plays along with the pus, uh, you could make it closer. Uh, but I just, I think at this point, this this game is just over. Uh, 21%. 22% at this point, so we're going to fast forward. Uh, the remaining melee packs of, of Tyrion and Grimm uh, and Chicken Wire are getting pussed down. Um, archers here are getting, you know, beaten up slightly, uh, you know, from, from the different pus, uh, but there's just not enough important units alive. Uh, Arsenic in the chat says, uh, so let's jug next game too. Uh, <laughs> making a joke that maybe, uh, if Peacock should stop sending three reactive flanks and, and waiting to see what happens. Uh, but we'll, we'll see if, if they manage to make that adjustment. Not much to say. Uh, I think, you know, they'll clean this up. Uh, I, I would, again, I think very similar to the game on Dark Canyon, the game on uh, Foscarth, uh, and, and the, you know, the game on Haver. Name Changers starts by overwhelming uh, the southern flank. Uh, you know, Thundercocks probably over adjust by sending too much to face south. That results in their mid getting pushed in uh, and the south flank getting collapsed on. Um, so good planning, uh, I'd say, from the name changer side. Uh, at this point, all they're worried about is keeping percent. Uh, I think every 10% uh, is an extra point. They're probably not going to keep 50. Uh, I guess they could. No, no. So the question is, can they get 40 uh, or will they get dropped down? Um, could be close. They can't lose any more units. Okay, exactly 40. Um, so, you know, that will, will definitely impact. Uh, MVP this match, got to be Dante. That mid push really won him the game. Just did a good job of collapsing in. Uh, on the Thundercock side, uh, again, I, I, not not much to say. I think, uh, you know, once once mid got pushed in and then south was getting surrounded, there was just not a lot that they could do. Uh, Would have needed a different trade uh, or a different distribution and different reactions in game uh, if they wanted to make this one closer. Uh, so... Uh, with that, we will go to game six.